PGA Tour emphasizes giving back, and nowhere is this more apparent than with youth golf charities. Tournaments and individual players routinely put on free clinics to promote the game and inspire the next generation of PGA Tour players. The First Tee is the premier youth golf charity in the nation, comprising 201 chapters spread across all 50 states and six foreign locations. There's no question that the PGA Tour has really made a phenomenal difference in the first tee. Commissioner Fincham wanted to reach out to young people throughout this country who previously had not had exposure to the game. What better way to reach golf's youth than with the help of 24-year-old superstar Anthony Kim? In 2009, Kim was named the first tee's co-chair of the Young Ambassadors Council. In May, Three. he was on hand to help open a new facility at the Jacksonville, Florida First Tee, grabbing the attention of the hundreds in attendance. I feel very close with the First Tee program because they're teaching you that no matter what, you have to believe in yourself. Uh, if nobody else believes in you and you believe in yourself, that's still good enough. The advice that he gave them about the nine core values, sharing information, gaining information, not being shy to, to ask for questions is something that we hope that will resonate with the young people because it's coming from a young man like uh, Anthony Kim. Kim continues to help the 3.5 million children from the first tee, each one of whom has their own unique story. Hi, I'm Martavis Adams. I'm 16 from the first tee of East Lake. Without the first T, I would not be here and I would be a C student. I am a success thanks to the first T of Eastlake. Life wasn't always all smiles for Martavius. At age 11, he was a troubled child in need of direction. Performance in school wasn't the greatest. Performance around the house wasn't the greatest. I would try to follow a crowd of kids and do the things they do. <laughs> Most of his classes, he was failing. And he just wasn't really interested in school. He had some issues at home that I think caused him to act the way he was acting at that time, which was very disrespectful to teachers and students alike. And once he found golf and he understood the etiquette that golf requires, totally changed his life. Martavius joined the first tee after a golf class at the Drew Charter School, one of the cornerstones of Atlanta's East Lake community rebirth. It was transformational on and off the course. Martavius was a total beginner, hadn't picked up a club, hadn't thought about picking up a club, but as soon as he did, we could see he had some talent. I used to love to play baseball, and when I hit a golf ball, as far as I hit it, it was like, wow, this is better than baseball because it's going even farther than a baseball would. He had the talent with a few skills taught by the first TV slate. He could actually be one of the kids that could make it. Meet new kids, meet new parents, meet new coaches, meet new people. He was able to help me just get away from life pretty much. Everywhere you go around here is positive people around you. That was it. Much better. We're trying to mold individuals here that will be productive in our society. And having the knowledge of golf is going to help them get a better job. He was able to take what he learned from the golf course and use it in everyday life. One particular place he started using it was at school. I mean, his grades immediately started to rise. He was already a happy-go-lucky kid, but, you know, he became even happier when he saw that the first he had something that I can use on and off the golf course. He started becoming more interested in education and his future. Adams is now a high school honor student who mentors younger kids while playing to a two handicap. At the Tour Championship, presented by Coca-Cola, he was given the honor of hitting the ceremonial opening tee shot. He was very relaxed. It was like he was at home, like he was around people that he had known for his entire life. So he was calm and represented himself very well. I wasn't trying to hit it as far, but I was trying to get into the fairway, so I can say at least I hit the fairway. <laughs> as he picks up the tee before it even lands. Come on. 
showing us all up here. Very well done. Martavius Adams. We'll see about her playing in the Tour Championship in a few years. To get an opportunity to show the talent that he has on the golf course, I think is a huge accomplishment for him. I never picture myself on a golf course or being successful in school and my classes, and also I never had dreams and goals for my future. And that's one of the things that the first tee teaches us. As I look back, it's like, wow, was I actually that stupid by doing the things I was doing? He is certainly a role model for our chapter, and he's a role model for the rest of the kids here. A lot of kids really look up to him, and they want to be just like him. Win. Through the first tee, we're using golf skills to really teach the life skills curriculum. If we get a Tiger Woods or a Phil Mickelson, you know, that would be good, but at the end of the day, we're trying to create better people and better citizens. And if we can give these kids here in our community life skills that they can use on and off the golf course, we've done a great job at what we're trying to do. The kids here in the community have great opportunity to grow, to better their family lives, and come out as great citizens themselves. Anyone can come here and play golf. Anyone can come here and be a part of First Tee. The beautiful thing about it is that they don't judge you on your past. They're here to accept who you are and see how far things could go and your future. Because they want the best out of you, no matter what. That's why I really love it.